and welcome to Katie's Self Cook Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching my channel and supporting by hit subscribe to my channel on the bottom here. And um, so today I'm going to show you how to make the Vietnamese banh mi one more time because the previous one the quality was not very great, the sound is not is terrible. Um, I dropped the microphone two times, so it's pretty bad. Um, so my husband just bought me a brand new one. Hopefully it sounds better, and I'm still learning how to edit the video, so bear with me here. But I'm going to show you again with a new uh, tips here how to successfully making the Vietnamese banh mi. Um, it's very easy. Thank you to Ji Mei Yan. The recipe is awesome. Very easy to follow. So come along and let's get started, okay? So to start out, I'll go ahead and add in the um, yeast here. So I'm using about 2.5 teaspoons, about 5 grams of the act dried active yeast. I'm going to put it in here. And we'll put it aside for now. And now we'll need about 3.5 cup of the bread flours. Here is 1.5 teaspoon of salt on the side here. And we also need about 1.5 teaspoon of sugar. And we need half a teaspoon of the vinegar. And now we're going to add in our yeast here. We need about one egg here, one large egg. Just this one will help make our uh, bread more fluffier inside. If you don't want to use egg, you can omit this one here. So I'm going to add in the egg and we're going to need um, 10 speed. I'm going to do a speed 4 for about. So it's been beating for about 10 minutes here at speed 4. I'm going to let it rest for 2 minutes before we continue. I'll speed to speed six here, and we're gonna let it uh, knead for about four minutes. <laughs> oil here. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean my hair like this. And take it. This bucket, and I'm gonna grease that bucket here, so that it's be easier for us to handle later. I'm gonna put back. Take it out and I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to rest it in the oven with the light on for 15 minutes. And I'm going to show you how I proof in the oven. I'm going to pour in a bowl to help keep it warm. So we're using our oven as an incubator, kind of a warm room. Take it out from the oven. We are going to grease our hand with some oil and we're gonna take it out. So we're gonna start folding it inward into a ball like this. As you can see, there's bubble. That's good, that's what we want. And we're just gonna like round it up on the counter here. And I'm going to divide up to um, seven portions. So it's about 110 grams for each portions. If you don't have a scale, you can just eyeball it. But of course, um, if you have like all evenly sized, then it will be bake easier. So more evenly when we bake them. It's about 110 grams each. So I'm just going to uh, fold it in like this.
I'm gonna cover and let it sit and rest for five minutes here. We're gonna go ahead and do one more time. So first, if it sticks to your hand, you're gonna wet your um, hand with a little bit of oil. You don't want to use the flour because you don't want to dry your bread out. So you just have to gently push it out like this and then I'm going to fold it in again one more time. Like this. Okay. So we're going to spread it out like this and we're going to pull it in. This gives our bread layers, guys. So this is going to help um, the inside to be soft and fluffy, too. We're going to let it rest for another 5 minutes. I'm going to cover with the thin wrap here. A lot of people say that it's stuck to their towel and so on. So um, sometimes when your flour or your bread flour is too wet, it can cause that problem for you. Um, I'm just going to lightly grease the bread pan here and put it aside. So now it's time to mold our bread to the shape that you like. So I'm going to take out one piece right here and I'm going to do this way. I'm going to put on here. I'm going to roll it out. bread so using your two finger at the end to push it and don't forget to kind of close the gap here so that way it won't pop open when you when you're baking it and I use two of my palm here um, to kind of help closing the gap at the and two. And give that nail on the top there. Try to fold it in. By doing this here, you will help closing the gap at the end. I want the middle to be very big here because that is where the puffy, uh, fluffy part at. So I want to make sure that is like a chunk. Okay, so once you're done, you want to make sure to uh, close the gap here so when we bake, it will not pop open. Okay, and then we're going to use our two part of our palm here and we're going to give it the end part to close up the gap at the end as well. This time we were not needing the hot boil water in our oven. We just have to turn on our oven light and let it sit in there um, for about 15 minutes. Alright guys, so this has been resting um, outside for 15 minutes here while our oven is preheating at 240 Celsius. And right before we put it in, we're going to bring it down to 220 Celsius. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut our uh, bread here. And we're going to cut at a 45 angle and just one clean cut. 
Okay. If your um, bread dough becomes very smooshy, squishy, and it's not as clean when you touch it's wet, that means that you're overproofing it, so it's too long. So you need to short up your time here. So I'm gonna spray this with water, and we're gonna into 220 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put it in, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in the water, about a cup and a half here. Very quickly. I'm gonna close it, and then we're gonna cook it for about 18 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven, if you see it's golden, then you can start, take it out, but I'm gonna start spraying the water at five minutes interval. Bake for five minutes. Very, very exciting part, looking inside your oven to see how your bread rising. I love to do this with when I'm baking and doing macarons, see how the feet rise. This is like awesome. So we have two minute and a half before we can spray another one. So we're gonna spray at five minutes interval here, interval here to give that thin crust uh, bread the Vietnamese uh, character has. So that is looking very good guys. This is like bomb. Okay, so two minutes left here. All right guys, so 10 minute mark, we're gonna spray it really quickly and we're gonna close again. All right guys, it's time up to get out our bread here. Going to brush um, on top is the butter that I kind of melted a little bit here to give us that light color and this. Here you have it, the Vietnamese bread here. Bánh mì Việt Nam is really, really good and it's I want to let you hear the sound of the skin. It's very thin and I want to break it open to show you how soft it is inside. So come closer. So you're going to see here. Can you see this right here? It's breaking. That means that our skin is very soft here. That's what we want, right? The Vietnamese bread. See how thin it is and how crunchy so let's break one open to show everyone here and you see this right here it's open very nicely so let open one see how soft it is wow look at this it's very very soft to touch and it smells really good we're gonna put in a little bit of the Vimy's butter here and we're gonna have a bite what part of the bread that you like? I like the end part because it's super crunchy. So, so this is the Vietnamese butter. If you like the recipe, I'm gonna put the link on the bottom. It's not my recipe, but you are welcome to get to it. And, mmm, so yummy. The fresh bread and the Vietnamese authentic butter here. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you like my video. Please share and subscribe to support me. Thank you so much and have a good one. Until next time, bye.